We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. Hi, I'm your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're diving in. We're checking out Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. Demon Hunters. It is by Complex Games and a Frontier Foundry, releasing on May 5th, 2022. A big shout out and a thank you to the developers for hooking me up with a code for this. I caught me off guard, totally didn't see this one coming. I was like, oh, what is this? When I finally saw it and I'm like, hey, can you? And I like immediately was like, oh, oh heck yes. So here we are guys and gals, we're diving in. I have no idea what I'm getting into, but this looks fantastic. And I can't wait to play it. So, as you can see, we have so many campaigns we've already played. <clears throat> All right, we got ourselves Merciful Standard, Ruthless, Legendary, Grandmaster Mode. Annual Savings. All right, Hardcore Mode. Got it. Merciful. Plus two nights at game start. Plus six night HP. Minus 33% wound recovery time. Minus 25% HP for enemies and their... Minus 25% enemy stun. Not sure what that means. Bloom eruptions are less aggressive. Maybe we're stunned for a quarter of the... Three quarters of the time as opposed to full of... Full, uh, full stuff. I can speak sometimes, I promise. <laughs> Warning, difficulty settings cannot be changed once the campaign is begun. I like that. Then you have the standard setting, which is probably what I'm going to roll with. Uh, just standard campaign parameters. Cool. You got Ruthless, where 25% more HP for enemies, and uh, longer wound recovery time, minus one to a resilience, and legendary. 50% more HP for enemies, 50% longer wound recovery time, knights start with one resilience, minus one requisition rewards, 50% research cost and time, construction cost and time, plus two purity seal upgrade costs. All right, we go on standard, because I don't know what I'm doing yet, so we're going to see how we play. Okay, of course, if you guys have any kind of epileptic issues, by all means, look away. Don't watch the video. If it starts to bug you, turn it off and, you know, yeah, that. It is the 41st millennium. Ooh, sounds good. For more than a hundred centuries, a little loud. the Emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. Mankind wages a never-ending battle for survival against the demonic power of the Chaos Gods. But by one force is humanity shielded from true darkness. The Grey Knights. This secret chapter of Space Marines are the Imperium's surest defense against that which the Emperor foresaw would be its greatest threat. Humanity's blade against the demon. For in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. The grim darkness. The gray jetties. No, it's not. It's not. It's not a jetty. It's just a. Just a gray knight. Okay. Shrine world of Geharis. Oh, that is way too Unidentified cool. Astartes vessel. This is Captain Parani Everick of the warship Holiness of Ra. Nice. Geharis is lost. Repeat, Geharis is lost. All Imperial vessels are to withdraw at once. Star Strike Cruiser Baleful Edict. Birth Dock Forge Moon Dimos. Astartes vessel, do you read me? Geharis is due. Please acknowledge this warning and. You have done all you can, Captain. Go, in the Emperor's light. You cannot sail into this storm. We do what we must. Farewell, Captain. I think maybe we should Tech listen. Priest, report. Hexabramic wards are under maximal pressure. Commander, we cannot maintain this orbit for long. Dispatch the assault team at once. I will join them and put an end to this myself. Let's get a Your will be done. On his back, behind his head. How does how does that help? What? The assault team is engaged, Commander. They clear a path for your arrival. 
Here I stand. One unbreakable shield against the darkness. See? Well, what is that? What is that, sir? How does that... What? Tonight the Cadium falls, Hector. Our quest is finally near its end. Okay. Your armor value protects your knight's health and regenerates at the beginning of their turn. Okay. Armor stat. Got it. Excited, guys and gals. I'm very, very, very eager to see how this plays. See what it's like. It looks. It looked incredible. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I'll probably adjust and play around with the sound. It seemed like the opening cinematic thing there that was going on was a bit loud. But then the rest of the voice and stuff was kind of fine. So, I don't know. Hopefully I'm not drowned out at any point. We'll see. Palamedes, report. We have cleared a path through this chaff. Our target lies ahead. Time is against us, brothers. We breach the cathedral. Okay. Waz to pan to the cathedral. All right, I've adjusted the sound. Let's see if that's a little bit better. We'll see. Position your cursor here and select the position. I uh, left click. Left click again to confirm the move. Ha! Deluded zealots. Your Imperium shall burn! Look at these guys, look at them! Cowards and weaklings. Advancing into cover. Oh, I don't I don't. Alright, immediately that's a big old giant negatory for me. That right there is the thing that I hated the most about XCOM. And they just showed that they did it, and I hate it immediately. So, uh, folks, if you're going to make a game like this ever, any any game that's XCOM-like, that's a tactical, turn-based, squad-based strategy game where you have AP and you're shooting, there's cover and all that stuff, to me, the cardinal sin, the worst thing you can ever do is when you detect an enemy group or an enemy they see you that you know you become aware of each other they get a free move into cover it is the dumbest thing in the history of ever i hate it i hate it so much i cannot stand it it is the worst so i'm incredibly sad to see that that is the thing that they did here i'll deal with it it's playable it's still so stupid if you see someone you're gonna shoot at them they're not gonna be like oh okay wait hold on go ahead get into cover Okay, you, you guys good? Yeah? No? All right, all right. Game on. It's like, it, come on. You see someone, you walk up on them. It, and again, it's a turn-based initiative, right? So you walk up on them. You have the initiative. It's your turn. You discover them. Boom, 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 boom. You get to shoot them. They die. It's not like they're going to walk out, see us, and then we're going to move into cover. It. I'm sorry. Like I said, I am super excited about this game. I'm still really going to enjoy it, I think. But... I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. It cannot be overstated. This is the dumbest conceivably possible idea you could ever have in a game. That's about tactics and moving around and strategy and shoot. It's it's so incredibly stupid. Anyway, moving beyond that, and I apologize. I really hate it. All right, uh, move melee attack. Select destination with five uh, spaces per AP. Simultaneously select a target for melee attack in an adjacent space. Full cover reduces damage from direct range attack. Here, that's the other thing, right? Okay. So they moved into cover for free. We have to now move into cover. I mean, maybe we're already in cover, but this looks like this dude's just standing here. Uh, we don't get a free into cover move. Uh, sorry. All right. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, characters gain three action points each turn. These action points can be used for movement attacks and abilities in any sequence. Select ranged attack. That one. I mean, he's behind cover, but sure. Okay, what 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 is this? Just confirming that we're here. Shoot a target at range ten to deal four damage. 
Press to shoot with your storm bolter. Your damage can be affected by distance, any cover, and other factors. Face the Emperor's judgment. Okay. Okay, uh, Palomides storm bolter has zero ammunition remaining. Of course it does. Reload it now so that you can continue to use it. You can quickly slide this ability by pressing 5. Can I just press R? No. Okay, that's, that's fine. I don't. Okay, if you hit spacebar, you can confirm. But if you double tap the skill, you, you cannot confirm. Partial cover provides some damage reduction against range attacks. Oh, look at him just running over, just chugging along. Uh, okay. We want to shoot at him again. Is, is that is that the plan here? Looks like it. Justice. Rat tat bang, baby. Did his head fall Uta, off? Dispense of that heretic with your blade. Melee attacks can inflict devastating damage and effects in close range. Left click to melee an individual. No quarter. Yes, Marmaduke. I am the Less Marmaduke. Get him. You're out of cover, Uther. Trust in the Aegis. Go. Nope. Activate Aegis Shield. Aegis Shield provides bonus temporary armor for one turn. Each point of armor absorbs one damage before HP or loss. If your knight has permanent armor points, they are restored at the beginning of their turn. Like I said, rant aside, I'm sure I'm going to still really enjoy the game. And it's fine, but... Die, Imperial! It just needed to be said. It's still really no. loud at times. Ball, monster. Rich. I look like I hurt a lot. A good spot. Okay, Overwatch. Sets, uh, okay. I like it. Time stands against us. Put your camera into the cathedral, the cathedral to see inside. Okay. Reach the door by moving Agravain into the cathedral. Into the cathedral we go, sir. Oh, just oh my God! We really Demons, kicked that door. Oh, I will not be delayed by these weaklings. Really? I feel like you might want to. Okay. They didn't move into cover. They just moved. I don't know what that means exactly, but it's interesting. Hazardous objects are identified with this icon. That icon? Oh, okay. It's on the ground. It's kind of overridden by all the other lights. They can often be interacted with to your advantage. See, they moved, but they didn't go into cover, so... Uh... Sure. So I'm going to chop this down. It's going to... Or... Shoulder block. Oh, my God. Iolanthus, your brother is pimmed. Advance and deliver retribution. By your command. All right, we're gonna Deploy move forward. Your frag grenade, brother. It's four. Enjoy. We are a hammer. We are a hammer. You are a debtor. Wrath. <laughs> nice. Wow. Deliver the there was a, a random arm there. Oh. Advance and train your bolter on that doorway. Unleash your blessed ammunition the moment they are exposed. Palamedes, prepare for the demon's charge. Okay, same thing. You get over here. Get into uh, Overwatch now. Are they going to overwatch one at a time, or how's this going to work? It looks like one shot and then the other shot. It didn't stop them, though. He'll recover in three turns? Sense dark powers from within. 
Adjacent enemies with melee weapons will automatically strike you if you move out of their range. So why would I move out of their range? Alright, whatever. You want me to learn a lesson, I guess. Q and E. That's both AP and willpower. Sure. The Fury of the Ancients. Unleash a rolling wave of force that devastates all enemies along its path. Knock back armor break one. These soulless curs shall hinder us no longer. I mean, they might hinder us still. Look at those eyes. Those are some intense eyes. Oh, that was... End that impressive. demon, Palamedes. Engage him now. Palamedes has suffered the pin affliction, which penalizes his AP. Come on, Palamedes. Suck it up, buddy. Attack the blood letter. Curses. Auto defense's blood letter has the auto defense parry that can cancel the first melee attack against it. Attack him again. I will end. Okay, we did very we little damage. We cannot lose another battle, brother Iolanthus. Both demons must be destroyed. Uh, strike. Oh okay, gosh. Okay. I mean, it definitely doesn't look like we're going to be destroying anyone. What is going on here? Successful critical strikes with melee attacks allow you to damage one of the enemy's target points for an advantage in combat. Select the torso for a bonus plus two stun. Flicked enraged. Disable melee weapon. Go for the stun. Return to the jaws of your master! You've stunned the blood letter. A stunned enemy will always be crit by your next attack, giving you easy access to precision targeting. Alright. Uh, many enemies are vulnerable to executions while stunned. Executing an enemy will give all of your knights one AP. Yeah, why would we never why would we not do that? That's pretty sick. Palamedes has gained 1 HP from the execution. He can immediately act again for devastating effect. Uh, you can enhance most attacks with psychic power for 1 willpower. This is called a strike force for melee attacks and grants plus 1 damage. Sick. Excellent. It's a lot to remember, I but move on I like it. Oh, that stays on the ground. That's really cool. There is not much time, brothers, but we must prepare for the coming battle. Orders. I can sense enemy reinforcements. Palamedes, resuscitate Uther, so you may both defend against them. Okay, he's gonna heal the critically wounded individual. Looks like he stabbed him. Take up defensive positions, Palamedes. The enemy reinforcements will be here soon. I mean, Palamedes is pretty banged up himself. This is pretty Your sick. Resolve is commendable, Uther. Join Palamedes in defense of the cathedral. Okay, double reloading. And what's our boy gonna do here? Iolanthus with me. There's a breach in the wall ahead. Oh, over here? That's not with him at all. I will breach the inner sanctum. Some I'm breaching the inner sanctum, this does not look like a place I'd want to hang out at at all. A lot of, a lot of stanky blood. A little irony taste, you know? In the air. What's up? Sparkly, sparkly. Wow, that is horrifying that you're that strong. Eracool. Eracool. <laughs> oh, is this a Nurgle boy? Millions of souls feed the flame. 
The threshold is past. The warp emerges! Sounds bad. Your cult is broken. Your ritual is ended. Relish this breath, for it is your last. Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull realm! Oh. Okay, also, relish this breath, for it is your last. Epic line. That was real sick. Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne, was it? To my side, Iolanthus. Uh. Clear the gap. I can leap. Great. Okay. Great googly moogly, as they say. Hurry up, Iolanthus. You're not even slightly deterred by the giant. I will show you true wrath, demon. The one twenty-five, thirty-foot demon. You're just, you're just fine with. Okay, sure. Nope. Yep. This is. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be fine. Uh huh. Uh, damage. Yep. Uh, critical. Ch okay. Sure. Just gonna go and smack you now with my halberd of. Pain, I guess. This didn't go so well the last time we tried it. I mean, we we did try this before, and they just walked through it and killed you. Actually, I feel like this is not going to go our way this time either. Oh, he jumped back. Ow. Yeah, this is exactly... Oh, no, he died. Okay. I'm not finished yet. I mean, you, you look pretty messed up, buddy. Yeah, I don't think the Astartes... Uh, vessel's Our gonna brothers have bought us precious time, Ireland. Walk away. Flank that demon and fire at will. And uh, with all all of the the people in in tow here. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? Never ground has a waypoint. Set another waypoint with that. I confirm again the movement. Running around the fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shooting them much high. I got nothing. This seems hardly worth it. For the Emperor! Does he look perturbed by that? You profane this sacred place with your master's fire. This ends now, demon. Oh? Oh, it does, does it? How, how do you how do you figure this is gonna end? What what do, you, what do you want me to do? You want me to to, to shoot? Do I do like a backflip? What are we what are we talking here? You want me to run around the entire periphery? Um, oh, we're just going right through the fire. Okay. That is not enough, man. I feel like our guy was not all that smart. Oh no, he seems fine. Why is he fine? Why did he pick him up and carry him out of the fire? Oh, we're gonna take him down. Pathetic mortal! Weakling spawn of a false god! Ow. I am the light that banishes darkness. Your prayers mean nothing! <laughs> I am the hammer! Of Jeff! me for now, little knight. But the war I fight is eternal. Cool. Is it nap time? 
I feel like it's snap time. I think he agrees. Uh, what about your buddy? He he was still fine. Analysis. Work signatures fading. Then the blood ritual has ended. Where is that report? Report. Where is the commander? He died at Champion's death. Blade on blade against the Bowers blasphemy. Huh. Okay, I was expecting a little more out of that guy. Well, I mean, you could put the word Pyrrhic here somewhere if you wanted. I feel like that's that's apt. Your commander has fallen, but all is not lost. The Great Knights are powerful, genetically modified super soldiers. They can sustain injuries that would kill a normal human. But they are not invincible. Your knights each have a special resource called resilience, which indicates how many critical wounds they can survive over the course of the campaign before their injuries require their remains they return to your home on Titan. As your knights rise in rank, they will eventually earn more resilience. Okay. So we're, we're fine after that? That, that? that wasn't a big deal? out. So why did we go? To A long campaign over at last. A victory at the cost of the commander's life. Alive, he was ever a faithful servant to the Emperor. A true hero. Sure. In death, at least his duty has finally ended. Assertion. This ship remains in crisis. The Baleful Edict is seriously damaged. There are grievous matters to attend. Ah, yes. That is why I have invited our guest. Oh? You have appointed him to take the commander's place? I... No one else suitable survived the campaign. Falsehood, you also live. My apologies, Acting Commander. The priests of Mars do not understand our nightly oaths. <laughs> our men and stores are severely diminished. Your task is to lead us for the voyage home. That was a scoff. It was not it an indistinguishable noise. And once we return to Titan, I will put the future of your command to the chapter's grandmasters. In the meantime, I will provide what advice I can. Sweet. I will also support you with counsel and service. But remember, the Baleful Edict is my chief concern. Be careful with this ship. Sure. Yeah, no, that's, we that's sail fine. for Titan on your word, Commander. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, let's, let's go to Titan and stuff. It'll, it'll be fine. Strike Force Xyphos at your disposal. Sure. Uh, welcome to the Baleful Edict. With the fall of Commander Agravain, you have been promoted to provisional command of the Baleful El e e Edict for our journey back to Titan. I'm, it's one of those days, guys, guys. I apologize. It should be a simple duty, but you will need to maintain our limited resources and respond to any threats we encounter along the way. Strike Force Xyphos is at your disposal. Sweet. Commander. Could you please join me in the strategium? The strategium? I Maybe. Maybe I could, but right now I'm not going to, because right now we're going to break off this first episode. I'm uh, pretty hyped for it. Uh, like I said, I hate the move into cover thing. The group of demons didn't move into cover, so I I, I don't know. Maybe it was just a, kind of a part of the cinematic thing. I Who knows? I just hope that's not a thing that's indicative of the rest of the game. And apologies for getting on a little tangent there. Uh... 
feel free to tell me I'm wrong, I guess, in the comment section. Like, the move to cover is a great idea. It's such a wonderful thing, and it, it should every game have that thing, and it's glorious. You know, you can say that. Uh, you're crazy, but you can totally disagree. It's fine. Anyway, folks, uh, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, the publisher, any of that stuff, I'll have all the links down below that I can find in the description of the video. If you like the video, just go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel. You know the score, guys and gals. And until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy Astartes McSnow. Uh, Bumpy McSquiggums, thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.